Gua Sha, Wikipedia Audio Gua Sha is a traditional Chinese medical treatment in which the skin is scraped to produce light petechiae. Practitioners believe that Gua Sha releases unhealthy bodily matter from blood stasis within sword, tired, stiff or injured muscle areas to stimulate new oxygenated blood flow to the areas, thus promotes metabolic cell repair, regeneration, healing and recovery. Gua Sha is sometimes referred to as scraping, spooning or coining by English speakers, it has also been given the descriptive French name, Tribo Effleurage. Gua Sha was transferred into Vietnamese from China as Ko Jo, and is very popular in Vietnam. This term translates roughly to scrape wind, as in Vietnamese culture catching a cold or fever is often referred to as Trung Jo, to catch wind. The origin of this term is the Shang Han Lun, AC 220 CE Chinese medical text on cold-induced disease. Like most Asian countries China's medical sciences were a profound influence in Vietnam, especially between the 5th and 7th centuries CE. Ko Jo is an extremely common remedy in Vietnam and for expatriate Vietnamese. It is also used in Indonesia, and in Java it is known as Kirikan or Karakan, and it is very widely used, as a form of folk medicine upon members of individual households. Technique Gua Sha involves repeated pressed strokes over lubricated skin with a smooth-edged and blunt instrument. Skin is typically lubricated with massage oil or balm, and commonly a ceramic Chinese soup spoon was used, or a blunt well-worn coin, even honed animal bones water buffalo horn or jade or even a simple metal cap with a blunt rounded edge is used. In cases of fatigue from heavy manual labor work, a piece of ginger root soaked in rice wine is sometimes used to rub down the spine from top to bottom. The smooth edge is placed against the oiled skin surface, pressed down firmly, and then moved down the muscles hence the term tribo effleurage or along the pathway of the acupuncture meridians, along the surface of the skin, with each stroke being about 4-6 inches long. Practitioners tend to follow the tradition they were taught to obtain sha, typically using either gua sha or fire cupping. The techniques are sometimes used together. In China, they are widely available from national and public hospitals to private massage shops, because of local people's deep trust to TCM and reasonable price, they are very popular. A slightly different form of gua sha using the edges of coins rather than porcelain items is practiced as a folk medicine technique. Individuals practice this coining amongst their own family members in many Asian cultures, such as Vietnam, in Cambodia, and in their respective immigrant communities abroad. For example, healthcare practitioners in hospitals in Orange County, California, routinely see evidence of coining among hospitalized Vietnamese patients. In 1980, it was found that many Vietnamese still distrusted U.S. medical practitioners in part due to fear of being accused of child abuse. This practice has been misidentified as child abuse in case reports, despite the intention of the parents. However, physicians are required by law to report injuries from remedies such as coining to the appropriate agency, regardless of intention. The effectiveness of Gua Sha is supported by conclusive research. Ref name equals PMID 20205902 Lee MS, Choi Tai, Kim G, Choi SM. Using Gua Sha to treat musculoskeletal pain, a systematic review of controlled clinical trials. Chin Med 5, 5. Doi. 10.1186-1749-8546-5-5
PMC 282-7462 PMID 2020-5902 Some studies have found that gua sha has beneficial short-term relief effects in patients with stiff muscles and chronic muscular pain, but further study is needed. An anecdotal study where gua sha was performed during several days in mice shows that scraping the skin until blood extravasation occurs increases the expression of the enzyme heme oxygenase 1 consistent with increased oxidative stress and a deficiency in the resolution of inflammation. The use of safety standards and proper protocols is taught in acupuncture schools across the country. However, there was a case report of acute epiglottitis due to gua sha treatment on the neck for throat pain. The continuously applied pressure from gua sha could have damaged the underlying soft tissue, resulting in acute swelling and difficulty breathing. Furthermore, the use of gua sha along other CAMs was associated with a lower quality of life in patients with rhinitis. Cross-cultural confusion with physical abuse The use of hospital standards of sterilization and personal protective equipment is important to prevent contamination of infectious pathogens. Although no cases of blood-borne pathogens have been reported, the risk of transmission of blood cells and fluids cannot be ruled out. Protective measurements against infectious agents that are recommended include the single use of disposable devices, sterilization of reused equipment and glove use. Lubricants should be poured out into cups and they are to be disposed after each use. Devices that cannot be adequately sterilized such as horn and bone are not recommended. The 2001 movie The Gua Sha Treatment was made in Hong Kong showing Gua Sha among other things. The movie starred Tony Leung Kfai, Zhang Wenli, and Zhu Su. It can also be seen in the 1995 Vietnamese movie Cyclo. Lack of Evidence-Based Practice and Safety Concerns In Popular Culture Notes